Hi Aquarius, welcome to your March the 13th to the 19th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, so for March, I will be doing a giveaway, and the winner of this giveaway will get to choose any tarot or oracle deck of their choice. To sub or sorry, to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is either subscribe to my channel or in the description box below, you'll see a link to my Instagram and you can follow me there. If you want to do both, then you'll be entered into the giveaway twice. I've also opened up my services, so if you are interested in a question or a reading, my services are listed down below. So let's get in with your romance angels. What is the mutual energy between Aquarius and their person? The mutual energy between Aquarius and their person. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. On your side, we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. And on your partner's side, we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your spiritual upbringing. So you could be dealing with somebody who, you know, you have a connection with, but there's something where you both have to... You both need to do a little bit more self-work, a little bit he of healing. Maybe there's something from the past that you guys, you know, need to get over. Or maybe you're just not in alignment for a relationship right now. But I do see that that is the mutual energy between the two of you. With children and religious factors here, I do see that you guys may have different religious factors. And, you know, personally for yourselves, that is not a problem. But when you think about how you want to raise your children and raising children with somebody who has different religious um, factors then you that may become a problem so that may be something that you and your partner are kind of going through right now or thinking about maybe separately maybe together but um i do see that that's not going to be for all of you but i do see that for some of you guys okay what can we get for aquarius i do know you like you guys are so freeing so I do feel like if you are with somebody who is very religious and very strict and stern and that is exactly how they want their kids to be, then that would definitely be a problem for you. So that could be what it is for some of you guys. But what can we get for Aquarius for the week ahead? Aquarius. Yeah, so I see you guys are trying to balance out something between you and your partner. Um, you guys are... It's like maybe your partner's being very defensive and you're trying to balance it out between, you know, not being, you know, defensive and maybe mean, but at the same time they're offending you in some way. So you're trying to keep the balance, but this person is just being very aggressive for some reason towards you. Yeah, you may be dealing with somebody who's very selfish somebody who only thinks about their you know what is good for them what is best for them they're very self they're interested in their self-fulfillment and what makes them happy emotionally you know this person is very selfish but I do see here you know that there is something there is an opportunity for something stable something more stable whether this is you guys end up making up and you get something more stable or whether this is you going on a new path on your own that is going to lead to stability but I do see that there is a new start here maybe you're done dealing with somebody who's very selfish let's see Some of you just may meet a new um, a new person in your life that um, is going to offer you something more stable, something that that you want, and um, that is what you're going to be going towards. I feel like a lot of you could be, you know, finding somebody that is traditional or just kind of 
they have the same values as you and you may be you know kind of starting off on your own or if this isn't resonating with you you're just going to be you know doing your thing and then you're going to meet somebody who kind of is very aligned with you they're on like the same path as you for a lot of you though this could be somebody that is older than you because i do see two we have the king of pentacles and the king of cups so this could be that you're with somebody right now who is you know very closed off with their emotions and um, not expressing how they feel, not expressing things towards you, but they do have a lot of feelings, they just don't know how to express them. And that makes them come off as very selfish. But there may be somebody new coming in towards you that is very grounded and very stable. They know what they want, you know, they're not afraid to say it. And um, that it looks like that is, the, that is the way that you're gonna be going. That is the person that you're gonna be going towards. This could be somebody that you've known for a long time. Maybe you've dated them in the past or you just, you've had a thing with them, but you never dated them. This could be a Leo in your life. Whoa. Yeah, you guys could definitely be dealing with a Leo. We have, you know, Libras or Leo is all over this. I do see that there is somebody new that is going to be coming into your life and they're going to be, you know, making you feel like, I feel like this person is definitely older than you and this person is definitely at a higher stage in their life, but you guys feel like equals around each other, you know, they don't make you feel belittled or they don't, you know, make you feel like they have achieved much more than you have, you know, you feel equal with this person, very balanced with this person. This person is going to bring out the light within you. This person is going to bring out your inner child and you're going to be feeling very nice and loving with this person. I do see that this is somebody that you can have something long term with. This is somebody who is going to help you build your dreams. This is somebody who, you know, you are going to be putting in a lot of effort into this relationship, but it's not going to be hard. It's going to be like, you know this person comes home and you like make them I don't know say you make them dinner and you just got home too but you know you're the one who wants to make dinner because you want to do it like it's that kind of thing you're gonna be putting in a lot of love into this connection but it's because you want to do it you know not that you feel obligated to do it with this person I do see that they're definitely the light they're gonna be the light in your life and they're gonna make you feel like I feel like when you meet the right person that is aligned with you, a lot of things, you know, start to line up as well. So I feel like that may have happened or that may happen when you do meet this person. It's that they they make you feel so strong and so powerful and so motivated and just so happy that you just start, you know, putting all this energy into a bunch of other things because everything else feels so light with you that you have all this energy to work on other things. And maybe with a person in the past, you didn't feel like that. But I do see that, you know, your wishes and your dreams you are definitely able to make them come true right now. I do see that for a lot of you guys, you guys could be rising. Um, you know, this could just be rising up in your city or this could be fame. I do see this as fame. This is like, this is something that you're doing, a dream or a goal that you've had for a long time, a wish that you've had for a long time that, you know, maybe you didn't do it before because you weren't in the right place to do it but this is something that a lot of people are going to see people all around the world are going to be able to see this and you're going to have the strength and i feel like it's going to come from you know this person that you've met a little bit um you know it's also like you saw a new opportunity a new start and you took that and then you met this person and that combined gave you the strength to really see the light see your potential and then you start watering your dreams watering what it is that you want in your life and then that starts to you know expand i do see that you guys are going to be having a lot of enlightenment this week yeah so i feel like you guys definitely left something that didn't serve you we have justice here and death um you know things turned out in your favor definitely but it was ultimately for the best because after you went through the heartache of that you know you re you went into a rebirth and because of this rebirth i see amazing things coming like you you got a lot of enlightenment and you rose in your power to the point where you know you're gonna be noticed what doing whatever it is that you do or maybe just even you know maybe this isn't something that you're doing maybe this is just you being you and you're just gonna get a lot of attraction being noticed by a lot of people because you're in such a high vibration things are gonna be flowing towards you there's gonna be a lot of people that are attracted to to you this week and a lot of you know divine things that are gonna be um, happening for you because you're in such a higher place Oh. 
we have the page of cups here. So this person that you're dealing with, you know, it's definitely somebody new. This is something new that started. And, you know, they're very stable and they, like I said, they know what they want. And I feel like they're going to be coming towards you this week and really telling you how they feel. This is a true, genuine, you know, message of love. This could be a text message. This could be them, you know, taking you out to dinner and really just expressing their feelings towards you. But I do see that there is somebody in your life that is really, really attracted to you and they really admire you. They see your spark, your inner spark and your outer spark. And, you know, you're just shining towards this person and you make them feel very happy and very lighthearted and they're just gonna want to tell you how they feel some of you could have an older man and a younger man fighting for your attention So we have the Knight of Pentacles. It looks like there's going to be a lot of um, people coming towards you guys. Like you guys are really going to be at your highest vibration and you're going to be just attracting a lot. Like it looks like you may, you know, your Instagram may blow up or it's going to be something huge, something unexpected, but something that you've wanted for a long time. You know, this may not even be something that you've really worked for for a long time. This may be something that you've just wanted that just automatically happens for you. But I do see a lot of offers coming in for you. And they're all very stable. They're all very genuine, very true. So it's like there could be someone that's around your age, someone that's younger, someone that's older. But um, the offers are from... Um, earth signs and water signs that's what I see here so you could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio Cancer Pisces or Taurus Virgo or Capricorn all right I'm gonna get one more for you guys Yeah, so you guys are just going to be, you know, I do see that there's going to be a new partnership here. So you are going to be choosing one of these people to, you know, be with and plan something with. But I do see that you're going to be following your dreams, following your goals. It could definitely be something that you've planned or that you've had, you know, maybe written down somewhere that you've wanted to do that you're going to be, you know, becoming very, very successful with. Um, but definitely you guys, like this is all about, you know, you guys planning and putting the effort into the things that you want to do and really making the plans, laying them down, working on them and having them come into fruition and really just give you the life that you've always wanted. So this is amazing. I hope you guys resonate with this. And if you would like a question or a personal reading, my services are in the uh, description box below. I'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye.